have kind of taken its toll. All right. Got two bedrooms left here on this main level. We've got the purple bedroom, laminate flooring, baseboard is gone, small little spot back here. Popcorn ceiling looks like it's doing pretty good. Um, no major sheetrock damage that I could tell. You could tell some of that baseboard was taken off down there. Just a little bit of chunks here that need to be um, stickers on the door. Can't remember if this door was. It looks like it's in pretty good shape, although the closet doors are gone. Peel, is that a peel and stick style? That's a just regular old linoleum in the closet. And the popcorn ceiling looks good in the closet as well. As we go out here and to the final frontier, the very edge of the of the home, this would be the east side of the home built over the garage, I believe. And again, we've got just some minor gaps there in the what looks like the original baseboard. Some baseboard was removed. We've got one big closet here that looks like those are peel and stick tiles down there. No issues in the ceiling that I could tell. And I think this was Barney the Dinosaur's closet. Purple. That's spelled with about three or four U's and two R's. Purple. Looks like we got attic access up there too. If you ever want to go up there and take a peek. Sheetrock is kind of kind of rugged there, but uh, no damage that I could tell. We this must be the master bedroom because this must be the master bath. As we come in here, the linoleum is curling up just a little bit down there. We turn the light on. That's a tub shower, the shower com that's not a tub shower, it's a shower insert, walk-in shower insert. Kind of looks a little bit newer, like kind of a rebath job built in around those ceramic tiles. A little bit of a curl up there, and then we've got some sheetrock issues down there uh, behind the toilet. That's a little closer to the toilet than I wanted to get all of this. Uh, kind of it looks like they may have painted over some wallpaper or something, or some sort of wallboard. There's something that went on there, a little bit of a crack there. This looks like an updated sink as well. I didn't see any issues down here. Or an updated counter, although that does look a little bit picky. But nothing real bad. All right, let's head down to the basement and see what's in store for us there as we near the conclusion of our tour. ceiling fan, kind of a dated ceiling fan and light fixture over the over the entryway as we go down here. We've got the partition that divides the two uh, stairways. We've got a kind of a sheetrock damage here. It almost looks like there's wallpaper involved there too. Yeah, there's. Can you see the different? Uh, oh, sorry about that. See the different uh, levels of wallpaper and the seal of this. Looks like it's not real close to the. There's some sort of some sort of gap or something in the in the seal that goes up to there. We got some cracks there from something. But anyway, we step down and we make a right at the bottom of the steps. It takes us into the garage. And uh, the only crack that I could find in the garage is just to the left of that service door. And that thing goes all the way to the ground. And I was also able to see it on the outside as well. And there's photos of that. A little bit of spray paint there. Um, we've got a small stain here. Other than that, the popcorn ceiling has held up pretty well down here. Kind of an older garage door opener for Bay 2. 
We got a stain over bay one. Some minor chips and stains here. And some unfinished sheetrock work here. I believe this wall, that's concrete there, but right here we got some kind of some unfinished sheetrock and the casing gone there. And that is a look at, let me give you another view. Here's our microwave. It must not be working if they brought him down here. Paneling on the upper half. Concrete wall on the lower half for most of it. I'll give you a good full range view of the garage. Well, we'll leave the garage. I want to bring this crack up to you. I had overlooked that on the photos. Nothing real major, but just thought I'd let you know it's there. Here's another one. We go along here. It goes out bay two. Don't see anything else. Okay. Back into the hallway. This little cubby hole closet does have a punch in the door. But uh, when I came down here, that might be a water shut off. It didn't smell real musty, and it seems relatively dry down here, which is a good thing. It looks like the flooring might have been some linoleum tiles or something at one time. Handy little coat closet. Popcorn ceiling in this part looks pretty good. We do have a fire alarm or a smoke alarm. This is a combination laundry room and utility room. Kind of some older hookups there. Need some paint. Good deep size cabinets over the washer and dryer. Kind of some rough mudding job there on the sheetrock. Gas hot water heater appears to be intact. We've got the, ga the Goodman gas furnace. And I don't know what this is. If that's some sort of air filter or something like that. I bet you Steve knows. Again, kind of some rugged sheetrock and no casing. And a neat little set of storage shelves. There's nothing in the ceiling that I could tell of any issues. Just need some fresh paint. And we're going to head into the last room. Kind of the main basement family room. This was paneling that got painted over. A little bit of a gap there. And they got kind of creative with this crack. And it looks like they might have either painted the paint of the crack. They, they made the curves of the paint to go with the crack for most of the way. I almost didn't see it. But we do have a, a crack down here. It's just worth noting. Some gaps here and there in the paneling. Some little scratches. But mostly good. The ceiling looks good. Popcorn ceiling is kind of encouraging. And I don't know how long this home has been vacant, but it doesn't smell musty down here. It doesn't smell moldy or anything like that, if I may use that word. Vinyl windows for the back and vinyl windows in the front. And a small half bath. The casing has been removed and it's as has the door. We turn that on. It looks like a newer little sink faucet combo. Kind of makeshift mirror. And no issues except for a little bitty thing in the corner right there. Tiny little stain. But other than that, I think it about wraps it up. I'd like to thank you for joining me. And before we go, just wanted to let you know that this filming has been brought to you by 417 Rekey. That's 417rekey.com providing affordable and convenient rekey services for homes and businesses in Southwest Missouri. You can call us at 417-689-7034 or visit us on the web at www.417rekey.com. That's 417rekey.com. 
thanks a lot steve i hope this helps out